Water, water, everywhere, with lot a drop to drink. It's the worst place you can quench your thirst from the tap at the kitchen sink. Why is it that dogs, cats, birds, cows, pigs, most if not all wildlife, can drink from streams and rivers without any ill effect? Yet human beings can become quite ill. Hang around till the end and I'll give my theory. Now, have you got a Berkey water filter? Or have you got any water filter in fact? Primarily, one of the most popular, or probably the, one of the most widely known, is the Berkey water filter. It's been promoted quite extensively by Truth Channels. I became aware of them from uh, watching Richie from Boston and I'm just curious to know why after watching this video here it's um it was actually promoted so if you've got a Berkey water filter I suggest you watch this video by water filter guru I tested a Berkey and can't believe what I found I'll leave a link to it I won't actually play it here, but um, what I will do is let the gentleman explain what the video is all about very briefly. There's a lot of controversy about Berkey water filters and their contaminant removal claims. With the help of Simple Lab, we decided to put one to the test and you might be surprised with what we found. Stay tuned because it's coming up. And there is another video that I'd like to highlight and uh, I'll advise you to watch and it's best water filter and there are a range of water filters that are put to the test various things and I will urge you to watch that if you're interested obviously I'll also point out that I have a couple of playlists here. First one is water. It looks like a collection of 64 videos about water. And a playlist titled prepping. Self-explanatory really, I guess. Unless you don't know what prepping is and it is pretty much short for preparation or preparing for shortages, power outages, Armageddon, etc. Just pretty much how to be prepared. So I'll leave links to the two videos and the two playlists. And finally I'll give my quick a quick summary of my theory on why human beings seem to be the only entities that can't drink from streams and rivers without getting ill now the thing about tap water is it contains chlorine now if you pour yourself a glass of water out of the tap and give it a sniff the chances are you'll be able to smell chlorine so for long-term storage if you are going to store tap water just let it air 24 hours, 48 hours, just leave the, the top of bottles loose just so the chlorine which is a gas can evaporate before you uh, tighten it up and store it now my theory is that um, since the advent of chlorine there would have been a time pre-tap days, let's call them that where people did used to drink, get their water from streams and rivers quite possibly boil it but um, not in all cases and my theory is that uh, in times before chlorine before tap water mains water that we had um, a system that could 
cope with anything that was lurking in the water that might upset us part of our natural human development of the immune system and once chlorine was introduced into the water that possibly pretty much killed off the flora and fauna of the gut of the stomach of our bodies that um, acted as um, a defense mechanism against any water impurities so that's just a theory I'm not a doctor I'm not a scientist but um, I just want that to be borne in mind that chlorine is quite possibly the reason why we cannot drink from fresh water streams and rivers okay do I'll just leave you with that little thought there it's just a theory and um it's a theory founded on a little bit of intuition and a little bit of understanding okay do take care everybody you know what's coming there will be water shortages so be wise my friends be wise love you all that's how I want